Take care, they say. Take care. They care about you. They say take care, right? Then you have a phone call or maybe, you know, you're in a store. Get your receipt. You're ready to take off. Take care. Have a good night. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Jason Werner. Boy, I take all my care. Casting it to Jesus Christ. Whenever you hear somebody saying, take care to you, you don't need to receive that. We don't realize it. Myself, for many years, I was doing this. This is witchcraft, it really is. We don't even realize it, it just comes in. You know, God created everything, everything. You know, God said, let there be. God said, let us make, you know. By words, everything was formed, truly. <laughs> and here we are. We're receiving these things. We don't need to receive that. As Christians, I am speaking to your spirit to be bold, to, to, to take that the word of God, the light of fire. Use this take care as an opportunity to evangelize. Okay, so what, what I'm doing now, 1 Peter 5, 7. Check this out. Check this out. This is great. 5, 7. When they say to you, take care, you can be arrogant and say, take yourself. When you know it's wrong, don't take care. Hey, take yourself, you know. <laughs> no, seriously, take, take, right here. Take care, okay. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Don't hang up, don't hang up. Or you're at the store. No, no, thanks for the receipt. I'm not leaving yet. I'll tell you something, okay. Take care. See, see. Hey, I'm in the business of changing and correcting hearts. Bringing people to the Lord Jesus Christ, correcting the mouth, the tongue, I tell you, life and death is in the power of the tongue. Proverbs 18, uh, 21. This is so good. Casting all your care, all your care. I take all my care, I cast it upon him. For he careth for you. And I know many of you are trying to say, well, it's just an expression. Well, there's, and behind every expression, there's some kind of spirit. It, of course, it's through words, you know. Uh, actions are, are powerful too, you know. But uh, use your words. Use that tongue. The word of God. And this is how we're, we're, we're bringing this, this, this nation and souls to repentance, to live for the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, let's just go ahead and see exactly what Jesus Christ did say. 12th chapter, 34th verse. It's very famous. You know, out of the abundance of the heart. Okay, check this out. 34th verse. It starts, O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. I became a Christian in May of 2000. Yeah, I was confessing Christ before then. I didn't really have it in my heart. Okay, he was not fully there. I just surrendered everything to him. Use this as an opportunity to evangelize. Give them the word of God. We speak words of God. God's words. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things. And an evil man out of the whew, evil treasure. I'm not saying you're evil. I don't know who you are, okay? But don't say it. Take care. Don't say it. No receiver either. Evil treasure. Uh, bringeth forth evil things. 36, but I say unto you that every idle word, which by the way, don't be quiet. I heard the whole thing, you know, uh, you know, uh, preach the gospel and when necessary, use words. No, use words. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. The word, God word, okay? The beginning was a word, word, God word was God, John 1 1. We know this. They shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. By the way, that judgment is not just, you know, standing before the Lord Jesus Christ after you die. It's all over the place right now, okay? Uh, For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. People say, well, it's no big deal. It's just a word, slang, expression. First chapter of James, man, you got to tame that tongue. And use that words, you know, God's words. We've got to use God's words. He knows our English. He knows our slang, all right? 
Use this as an opportunity to evangelize, even edify in your own spirit. Thank you.